Hello and welcome back to the restaurant show. Super excited because we get to talk about my favorite meal of the day again with Steven from The Egg and I, breakfast. And we're gonna continue talking about the new features menu over at The Egg and I. Last time he was here, we had that cinnamon roll French toast, which was absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. And today, now that we're getting into the fall and we're getting, the weather's changing, it's getting a little cooler, the leaves are falling and it's pumpkin everything. So keeping up with it, Steve, today we have the pumpkin pecan waffle, correct? Thank you, yes, definitely. Um, every year, um, starting to get around late summertime, people start asking, when's that coming around? When are you bringing that back? I imagine. And uh, well, it's a little early this year, so we're still running our last feature, the uh, cinnamon roll French toast. Mm -hmm. We're still gonna keep that going. It's a popular one, yeah. so I mean, you've had it. It's great. So, um, but we thought we'll bring this in a little early. That's uh, something everybody just waits and waits for. I can imagine. It's one of those things where you really don't get too much of it because you only get it once a year. Kind of like eggnog at Christmas. It's all that pumpkin flavor and pumpkin spice in October and November. Right, all right. So this is our waffle batter. It's our normal waffle batter. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a custard batter. Um, but we take a little bit of, uh, what is it, sugar and some cinnamon mm -hmm. and, um, some actual pumpkin puree and mix it into wow. our batter. There are places around town, I won't name, that uh, actually take uh, chemicals and add that to their batter to make it taste like, like pumpkin. pumpkin. Not, not like you guys, you're actually actual pumpkin puree right from the pumpkin, so you don't really see Ooh, a lot. I a really, lot of times it really is, overdid this. A lot of times it is just that flavoring and things like that, but you guys use real pumpkin to make that. There we go. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna put this over here. Of course. Well, so with the actual <laughs> pumpkin on that, that's gonna give it a little bit, you know, better, more filling taste, and you're not putting those chemicals in your body. You're putting, you right. know, an actual fruit in. Right, I mean, it's just gotta be better for you. I yeah. can't imagine what good comes out of the other. But, yeah, like everything we do, though, we attempt to make everything as good and real and fresh as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, I mean, we have great results with this, too. And even that, the, the pecans that go with this, you go as far as kind of canning them up yourselves. Oh, yeah, we spice and candy them. We mm -hmm. use, uh, again, uh, sugar and cinnamon and, uh, um, you know, brown sugar, and we caramelize them a little bit. And so they're really, I mean, they're awesome. And that's something you guys could easily buy them that way and save yourself oh, yeah. the work. But it's a little cheaper too. You put forth if, they that, buy, if we buy them that if way, you buy rather them than that doing way. them that way. But it's you guys just putting in that extra effort, extra time, extra money to have a good product that you guys all do locally, so mm -hmm. you can get a better product when you guys yeah. stop at the egg and I and eat. Yeah, even as far as our cinnamon butter, we mm -hmm. make our cinnamon butter in a little bit of um, what is it goes in that again? That's maple syrup. That's what I was trying to remember. We add sure. a little bit of maple syrup to it, along with the sugar and the cinnamon. Okay. So. And one of the one of the other things we've we've kind of talked about is aside from making all the items from scratch and making different options or things like that where it's better for you, the kids menu changes as well. And we talked about that a little bit last week where you have different options now for those kids menus that's healthier. Yeah, well, we used to everything got like potatoes and things like that, mm -hmm. and, and we're going back to the fresh fruit. And instead of automatically putting butter or whipped cream on something, we've put some little fruit faces on and yeah. things like that. It's still there if you want to request it, mm -hmm. but this is a better choice, I think. You know? Healthier. We're we're <laughs> we're becoming more conscious of that as a mm -hmm. society now, and we're we're um, trying to stay in power with that. So, and that's the egg and I just kind of finding some other ways to help out. Now, one of my favorite things you guys have is the coffee because. You guys have changing coffee as well. You of course have, you know, the decaf, the regular and dark, but you have flavored coffees once in a while that are just mind blowing. Well, we always have the um, the hazelnut. Yep. But now, well, we're finishing up the last flavor again. It kind of goes along with the other, the, the special. You know, mm -hmm. we, we moved things up a little bit. Let's do this quick here. This can sit for a minute. All right. Um, so we're finishing up that caramel and uh, then we're switching to, go figure, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, all right. Uh, that'll be our next coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it kind of goes hand in hand with everything else. And our, you know, our coffee beans are really good. Uh, yeah. They are uh, from a subtropical climate. They're all from Central and South America. They're growing at high altitudes. Wow, I put way too much. <laughs> it's all over the edge. I think that's so cool when you bring the waffle iron in because it actually has the egg and I it logo has right, right on top in it. of the waffle. <laughs> you can see right so there. So you can't forget where you're having breakfast. 
Ooh, it's a little warm. Come on. God, that just smells so good the way. There we go. Before you even take it out, it smells fantastic. There we are. Uh, it shouldn't be this raggy. I put too much on it, mm -hmm. so the edges are a little bit rough on there. But we're going to put some pecans on. And those are candied pecans that they did mm -hmm. in-house. Oh, yeah. A little bit of those. A little crunch on there. Uh, a little bit of powdered sugar. Not too much. Wow. She wanted to make sure I get to my kitchen manager did this for me ahead of time. Uh, cinnamon, you got to be real careful with. Yeah, because if you do too much, it'll be overpowering with yeah, the cinnamon. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot either. Mm -hmm. And our cinnamon butter, which is melting under our lights here. Oh, wow. There we go, and I even brought syrup this time. And we got syrup. <laughs> so. And that's gonna top it off, the pumpkin pecan waffle. I can now see why that's a popular menu item that people are asking for year round. That oh, smells absolutely fantastic. You can smell that, right. <laughs> yeah, I, thought the, I thought the cinnamon roll French toast was good. This is going to be gone very shortly, I'll tell you guys that much. <laughs> but everything made from scratch, like we said, that's something we can't emphasize enough is how much work they do to make sure they know and you know where your breakfast is coming from and having those healthier options and just great tasting food. The best meal of the day is breakfast and you guys do one of the best breakfasts around. That's right, and we're serving our friends daily. We're serving friends daily, yeah. So pumpkin spice coffee coming up next. They still have some of that caramel available and hazelnut there at all times as well as the regular? That all the time, yeah. Okay, so those are the ones you gotta try. Go there for coffee, stay there for breakfast. You're not gonna be disappointed. Thanks for coming back, Steve. Thank you for having me. Steve from The Egg and I, you gotta check them out, especially with October coming up, the pumpkin pecan waffle and that pumpkin spice coffee right around the corner. We'll be back more of the restaurant show in 